Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it. Ready to have some fun. This is part three of Budget Friendly Whiskeys. So if you recall, I started this out um, just kind of reviewing, you know, let's call it budget friendly whiskeys that were less than like $40, $45, a mix of buys and do not buys, and then also a mix of bourbons and rye. So this is actually what I reviewed for, this was episode one or part one. These are the ones I had on for part one. For the most part, really good uh, bourbons and rye in there, but there also was a do not buy included. This is what I had for uh, part two. So part two, these were all buys, so solid bottles all around. But we're back at it today for part three. So again, the rules, a mix of buys and do not buys, uh, a mix of bourbon and rye, so not just all bourbons. And again, the price point has to be about $45-ish or less. Cool? All right, so let's dive into it. So what's up number one? So the first one we have, to me, this is a staple in a whiskey lover's household. You have to have this bottle. <laughs> Old Granddad 114. I mean, you want to talk about a phenomenal bottle at $22, $23, $25. I mean, it's such a great product day in, day out. Easily available. You can find it for the most part almost at every liquor store. Tons of caramel, tons of peanuts. I mean, this is just, it's a staple. It's such a fantastic pour day in, day out. You have to have this one if you are at least trying bourbon and trying to get into the whiskey world. This is a staple by itself. It's a still day in, day out. Old Granddad 114. So we're starting off with the buy. Cool? All right. So the next one, oh man, uh-oh. <laughs> We're now going to move into the world of what I refer to as a split decision. So why? I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm giving this one a split decision primarily because of not so much the MSRP is how much the liquor store marks it up. If you can find this at MSRP, which is that 20 to 25 hour range, sure, buy it all day long. But many times if the liquor store does have it marked up, 40 50 60 dollars just give them a heisman step away move on call today i love it as a great weeded bourbon as an entry to weeded bourbon but only if you can find it at msrp so this is for weller special reserve weller special reserve is actually a really good product it's one of the i think well it's a really good weeded bourbon uh a great introduction into the weller lineup as a whole but only if you can get it for msrp that's that. Cool? All right. So that's a split decision. Sorry, Weller, but it is what it is. Now moving over into, let's go to a, a, a rye whiskey. All right. So the next rye whiskey comes in from a, you want to talk about a respected whiskey brand as a whole. And this distillery, the brand, the father and son combination, Russell's Reserve Six Year Rye Whiskey. So now this one is actually a $45 bottle, but it's a fantastic pour. So it's definitely higher on the, from a price standpoint, uh, at 45 bucks. But for a rye whiskey, uh, age six years, absolutely an amazing pour, a definite buy all day long. Um, of all the five I'm gonna to review today, this is probably the one that's probably the hardest to find. This is actually my second bottle. I just got this bad boy not too long ago, but this is actually a fantastic pour every single day. Hey, real quick, I need a couple favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Um, let me know what are some of your budget-friendly whiskeys. And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell so you get notification each and every time I produce new content. Cool? All right. One more favor. You thought I was all done with favors, huh? <laughs> One more favor. Let me know what are some different episodes that you guys and gals want to see coming up. Do you want to see certain battles? If so, what are they? Do you want me to review certain whiskeys? If so, what are those whiskeys? Cool? All right. I am done asking for favors. I promise. So now we're down to the last two. I did promise that one of these would be a do not buy. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I've tried many of their bottles. It they just don't do it for me. Um, actually, funny story. One of my patrons, two of my patrons, um, sent me a sample of let's call it a higher end version of Pinhook, 
and I thought it was just okay. It wasn't horrible, it was just okay. But for a higher end, higher price standpoint, I thought it should have been better. I don't know, pin hook for me, at, I think this is like a $35 bottle, just doesn't do it for me. I've never had a pin hook bottle that I bought at a liquor store, came home, cracked it open, and even over maybe like a month or two months, I poured it and said, you know what? Wow, this is amazing. I'm sorry, it just does not happen with pin hook products, at least not for my palate and my palate only. I will say that. So for pin hook, this is the only of the lineup. Do not buy. Stay away, far, far away. Cool? All right. Last but not least, woo! You know I'm gonna end it on a, on a, a solid note, right? This is one where <sighs> never had a bad bottle from this distillery, from this product line. Always amazing. You always know what you're getting each and every single time. Knob Creek, H9 years, 120 proof, small batch. Now I will say, you guys know me, I'm gonna pour a little something. This is the age nine years, 120 proof. This also comes in kind of like the uh, Russell's right at that $45 mark. So, so a little bit more expensive, but I will say there is also the cheaper version, which is the 100 proof version of this bad boy. So you can also find the 100 proof version. And that one is only like, I think 32, $35 ish. Uh, again, very easy to find. So you don't have to worry about, is this super hard to find bourbon judge? No, it's not. For the most part, you walk into no more than one or two liquor stores, you should easily find the Knob Creek H nine years, 100 proof version. I mean, it's it, it's out there, so you should easily find it for the most part. Hey, I say this each and every week, and I mean it honestly. Peace, cheers.